in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make low poly borders in Roblox Studio. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First thing you want to do is go to add, mesh, and add a cylinder. And over here in the properties, change it from 32 vertices to 8 vertices. From here, click tab to enter edit mode and go into the face select mode. Now, press Control R to make a loop cut and scale out just a little bit. Now, go back to face select mode and select the top face and extrude and right click. From here, scale out and extrude upwards, scale a little bit, extrude, scale, scale, and now move this down just a little bit. From here, you're almost done. All you want to do is go to the vertices select and just scoot these down a little bit to add some more detail. So G, Z. From here, select Alt and click one of the vertices on the bottom edge and scale in just a bit. Now, let's texture paint it. So select your model, go to the materials tab, press new, select this yellow dot and switch it to image texture. And now select your color palette from your files. Once you open your color palette, switch to the material preview option. And now go up to the UV editing tab. From here, hold Z and switch to material preview. And now press A to select all your vertices and go over to the left hand side of your screen and press A S0. What this does is combines all of the vertices into one so that you can make it the same color. But wait, you want two different colors. So what you're gonna do is instead you're gonna select each part of your cube and make it its own color. To do this, switch to the face select mode and first we're gonna select this bottom part which is gonna be dirt brown. So Alt Select Shift. Alt select and just shift so like this. Now these are all gonna be scaled to one and we're gonna make it a brown color. While still selecting these, go up to select and press invert selection and now press A, S, zero and now move this over to the green. Once you're finished texture painting, just go back to your layout and you're done. If you wanna know how to export this model into Roblox Studio, check out the video in the top corner. But with all that being said, I hope this video helped you guys. Subscribe.